Hi, this is a quick start guide to Movie Flex. In this video, you can watch how to sign up for free trial, CMS overview, how you can create video audio content in Movie Flex, how you can share your video audio content in Movie Flex, and we will explore the key features in Movie Flex. To sign up for the free trial, visit www.movie.com, navigate to products, and then click on Flex. So to start your 14 days free trial, click on start free trial. So type your name, company name, type your phone number, type your email address, your password, select I agree to movie terms and privacy policy and then click on next. So in the next screen, you can just uh, select what type of solution you are looking for like uh, video audio CMS, distributed playlist, social sharing. So here I'm selecting all the three options, then click on next. So you will be asked to enter the OTP. Now check your email for the OTP, copy the email from, so paste the OTP here that you have copied from your email, then click on validate OTP and your account will be created. So this is your flex CMS on the top right corner, you can go to your profile where you can view your account details and if you want to cancel your subscription you can cancel here and if you want to reset your Netflix password then you can reset the password now again go to the profile click on my account so you can see the subscription details click on purchase subscription and select a plan if you want to purchase a subscription and uh, select a term here whether you want to purchase it for month, monthly subscription, half yearly subscription or yearly subscription and then click on proceed to check how provide all your card details and then you can purchase the Movieflex subscription so here you can request for a live demo and you can access the help center so in the help center for Movieflex you can find all the related help articles for Movieflex so these are the help articles that you can find for Movieflex you can even search the help articles for Movieflex in the help center so click on the content management and content library and just click on the content library tab and you can see the content those are already added in the content library and uh, in the content library you can create your content and uh, here you can create the different uh, content categories by simply clicking on add category you can just type the category name and uh, create your content categories in uh, movieflex and you can even add a subcategory under a category or if you wish to delete a category you can click on the trash icon and you can delete the content category so to create any content in a uh, movie flex click on add content and uh, select what type of content you want to create whether you want to create the video content or audio content type the content name then the permalink will be generated select a content category and type the story or description about the content you can add search tags just type comma and uh, multiple tags like this you can create and after that you can upload the primary media file for the content just click on our file and then you can upload it directly from the computer or if you have already uploaded to the asset library you can select it from the library even you can use the CLS read URL here and create the content and uh, before create your content you can select one encoding profile from the drop down so we have not created any profile so the default encoding profile is available now just click on browse to upload a file from your computer so select a video file from your computer and it will be uploaded and it will be saved in the asset library then it will be added to the content then if you, if you wish you can also upload a preview or trailer for the content just click on add then click on browse and add a trailer for the content so after that 
you can upload a poster or thumbnail for the content so for that you just need to click on add file and click on browse. so select an image that you want to use so crop the image and then click on upload so the thumbnail or the poster will be added then you can upload a banner for the content then click on upload so the banner will be added then click on save to save the content so once the content will be added then the encoding process will be started as you can see how much time is left for completing the encoding process so once the encoding process will be completed then we can preview the content so once the encoding is completed you can just click on the preview and you can preview the content to share this content you just need to click on share and it will take you to this page where you can see multiple options is available for sharing embed code option is there you just need to copy the embed code and then you can share this on any website or app then you can get the hls url of the content and you can copy the hls url and you can use any hls player to play the video content and also the mpeg dash url is available so you can just uh, copy the mpeg dash url and then you can play the content also you can uh, create a playlist and uh, then after creating a video playlist you can generate the hls url of the playlist and you can share the entire playlist using the hls url so to share audio content just click on the share link and then you can see the embed code option is available for audio content even you can create a playlist for the audio content and you can share it using the hls url so we also have a bulk upload feature in the content library so if you want to upload bulk video content or audio content to the cms then you can use this bulk upload option and even the bulk edit option is available so at a time you can edit uh, bulk video content or audio content in the content library so you can also share your video content directly to your youtube channel uh, so for that you have to integrate your youtube channel to movieflix then go to content management and content settings and then click on social publish destination tab and here you can add the youtube channel so you just need to allow to integrate your youtube channel to movieflix so once it will be integrated then you can see the status is connected so if you want to share any content directly to your youtube channel then click on social publish and then you can click on add post and select a content that you want to share then click on proceed and select youtube so you can see all the poster and the banners everything is already there all the metadata information is also added and here you just need to select the publish option like whether you want to publish now or publish later then the visibility option you can select and just with a click on publish you can publish directly this uh, video to your youtube channel so you can explore the asset library where you can upload all your video content even you can upload the subtitles for each video content so click on upload subtitle select uh, the language of the subtitle and here you can upload the subtitle files you can upload srt or ptt format of subtitles for any video so we also provide the bulk upload option you can enable the bulk upload option in the asset library and using the ftp account details you can bulk upload video files audio files image files to the asset library and then you can use them to create content in the content library so in the playlist library you can create a, a audio playlist or video playlist 
can add multiple content to the video playlist and audio playlist so under the content settings uh, you can enable the geo restrictions so you can uh, the geo block your entire website or you can even you can create a geo block categories and apply these uh, to each content and uh, geo block any content for any specific uh, country or any specific state or uh, for a specific city so different levels geo restriction levels are available so you can enable it according to your requirement and then you can either geo block your entire website or geo block any specific uh, content like audio content or video content and you can also explore the ordering option content ordering option select the category and then select the ordering option like for example if you want to order the cat this particular category then select how you want to order them whether you want to manually change the order or even you can select other ordering options available in the drop down so in other you can enable the people library so people library is not by default enabled so if you want to add the cast and crew members to your content then you can enable it so once it is enabled then it will be available here under the content library and you can add your cast and crew members like the actors actresses director producer to your content so here simply you can add the details of your cast and crew members or the people and then you can add them to your content so under player you can explore the player settings and under the experience tab you can select show logo on the player so you can upload a logo for that will be appear on the player when your content will be played and here you can select the logo position where you exactly you want to show the logo on the player then you can enable the skip intro feature and uh, once it is enabled so you can allow that you just to skip the initial part of the content and you can even enable the playback speed control for the video content and the audio content and enable the picture in picture feature for the video content so under subtitle you can select these advanced options for the subtitles like you can select subtitle on as default or remember subtitle preferences and you can opt even manage how your subtitle will appear on the player by selecting these options like you can change the font size font style font color opacity level so all these details you can select so if you want to change the security level so you can click on the security tab i can add watermark to your videos you can select the ip address for the watermark even the date can also be selected as the watermark and here you can adjust the opacity level of the watermark and you can make the watermark dynamic or static okay and under restrictions you can enable the embed player restrictions so type the website name and uh, add the website where you exactly want to use the embed link of the content so if the domain is not listed here so the embed link of the content will not work and if it is not selected that means uh, on any website you can share the embed link of the content but once it is an apple it blocks all the domains so the domain where you want to share the embed link of the content that you need to add here then under the encoding profile you can create uh, multiple encoding profiles so the default profile is available but uh, here you can click on add profile and uh, you can just create uh, different profiles for video and audio content now you can even enable drm if you are creating a video profile you can enable the drm here you can select the output format and select the output resolutions even you can enable the progressive encoding and uh, for audio we can select these profiles like output formats by default is mp3 but if you enable the drm option for audio then you can only enable mpeg dash or hls as the output formats for the audio content and then you can select the beat rates and then click on save so 
the audio profile encoding profile will be created so you can add multiple encoding profiles and then i mean you can make any profile as a default profile so here under analytics you can view all the content analytics there are different segments you can select like content user device type geography when I mean, you can select the date range like uh, if you want to see last 90 days analytics and can select it or if you want to select last 180 days analytics then you can select it here okay and uh, it will show all the content analytics in this section and under monetization you can add advertisements or add tags so here you can click on add select what type of uh, advertisement you want to in integrate like vast or vmap then uh, type type the tag name and type the tag url and click on save so once the tag is added then you can go to the content library and click on the three dots and click on manage ads and select the add option and uh, select the pre-roll mid-roll or post-roll option for the vast or you can select vmap and then click add your vmap tags for the content so when the kind of video will be played by your end users uh, so the advertisement main will be displayed on the video then you can go to the settings where you can get all the api details like the app id secret key uh, that is required for the api integration so these things you can find under the settings and advanced so this is how you can use the movieflix to manage all your video audio content at one place and you can even use the different sharing option to share your content with the individuals thank you for watching Thank you.